Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hey, what's up? My name is Maribel and I'm a personal trainer. Today, I have a 30 minute workout. We are gonna be focusing on upper body, not a follow along. This is actually a guide. I will be sharing all of the sets and move name on the screen. So just follow them. If you wanna take this workout with you, write it down and you can take it anywhere. So let's get right into it and let's head to the gym. We're starting off on the treadmill. I want you to do five minute at normal pace. There's no need for incline or decline. We're just warming up our body and introducing blood flow. As you're warming up, I will tell you the workout. You have lat pull down, wide, as well as narrow. You have curls, flies, roll, hammer curls, bend over rows, and push up. This workout is beginner friendly. However, if you feel like it's too much for you right now, go ahead into my other videos that I do at home. We're starting off with lap pull down. I want you to focus on depressing the shoulder blade and then flexing the elbow while also extending your shoulders. Pull the handle towards your body until the elbows are in line with your torso and then slowly lower the handle back to the starting position. Try to have control. Always remember, mind and body control. Always listen to your body. One other tip that I do want to say is try not to overstretch your back, which could lead to back injuries. And finally, of course, sit with your back straight, chest out and shoulders down, maintain a slight lean back. And as you pull the bar back, focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together. This is the perfect way to know if you're doing it correctly. If you're not sure how much weight to use, I will recommend going light and then increase progressively as you get more comfortable. After you're done with your four sets of 12, you are gonna do lat pull down narrow. I want you to focus on your grip. I always put lat pull down wide and narrow because I want to make sure that I'm working all of the muscles of your back, including your dorsi, which is located in your back as well. I want you to make sure that your knees are under your pads and also your feet are flat on the ground. I want you to sit up straight with your chest up and your shoulders back. Pull the bar down towards your upper chest by squeezing your shoulder blades together. Right after this move, I do want you to rest for one minute and then go ahead and do your curls. We're doing four sets of 15. As you can see on the screen, my palms are facing up. My elbows are close to my side. And I exhale and curl the handles upward while trying to contract my bicep. I'm also trying to focus on controlling the smooth motion and also trying to avoid my body from moving during your contraction. I want you to squeeze your bicep to get the most of this workout. I want you to hold for a brief moment before lowering your handles. Try to aim for 15 However, if you feel like it's too much, I would say do 12 reps. If you're new to the gym, I would advise to incorporate different grip styles as well as different machines. I really think that trying new things could help you target your bicep from different angles. Right after your curls, you're going to go ahead and do flies. If you have a seated fly machine in your gym, I want you to make sure that your back is flat against it and that your feet are firmly on the floor. Maintain a full range of motion, but avoid overstretching, which can also strain your shoulder joints. Keep your core engaged to prevent excessive arching of the back. Once you feel comfortable in the fly machine, I want you to experiment with a bench. I want you to try different angles, such as incline or decline flies. These will help you target different parts of your chest. I wanted to make sure that I added chest flies to this workout because I wanted to target the pectoral muscle. If you listen to this tip and you use proper form, you can maximize the benefit and also reduce the risk of injuries. You can tell here I feel warm up and I'm ready to really crush this workout. However, if you are new to weightlifting or you're just trying something new, start with a way that allows you to complete your desired number of repetition has as I mentioned before, you always want to have good form. You can gradually increase the weight as you become more comfortable. This is known as progressive overload to build strength and muscle gradually during time by using heavier weight. This principle aims to challenge yourself with heavier weight as your fitness level improves. As you progress, I want you to lift your weight slowly and control. I want you to avoid using momentum to lift any weight. As this can increase the risk of injuries and also reduce the effectiveness of any exercise. That being said, 
Focus on using proper form and technique for each exercise. As I mentioned before, using the correct form not only maximizes your exercises, but it also reduces the risk of any injuries. Your next movements are rows. I want you to extend your arms fully and lean forward slightly to prepare for your next repetition. I want you to exhale as you pull the handle and inhale as you return. Once your legs are fully extended, pull the handle towards your lower rib cage behind your elbows. Start by pushing off your legs while keeping your back straight. As you extend your legs, lean back slightly, keep your core engaged. Sit as straight as you can and have your shoulders relax and a slight bend on your knees. Grip your handles firmly. I love adding rolls into my routine because I'm trying to improve my back as well as my strength. This machine at my gym does not have straps, but if you are a beginner and you have straps, make sure that you securely strap in your feet. What I do for my clients that you should do for yourself is keep a workout log to track the distance that you are actually coming in and out as well as your resistance level. So for each session, you should have a new note. This will help you monitor your progress. And concentrate on using your back muscles to perform the motion. Avoid relying too much on your arms or your legs. Once you're done with your rows, remember four sets of 15, you're gonna move on to high bended rows, which is gonna be working on the large wind-like muscle in your back and also your middle and lower trapezoids as well as your posterior deltroid. I want you to focus on four sets of 12 reps. However, if you want to push yourself and challenge yourself, give me four sets of 15 with proper form. I would advise doing high bend over rows four times if you're trying to gain muscle and six times per week if you're trying to work on your cardiovascular endurance. If you can make it to the gym and activity that will equal a high bend over roll will be carrying anything heavy a good example is carrying groceries from your car to your house after you're done with your high bend over rolls we are going to do hammer curls choose a pair of dumbbells that is suited for your fitness levels or goals i want you to have your feet shoulders width apart hold your barbell in each hand with your palm facing your body this is called a hammer grip keep your back straight Shoulders relax and your core is always engaged. Exhale as you bend your elbows and curl the dumbbells towards your shoulder. Squeeze your bicep at the top of the movement for the maximum contraction. Inhale as you lower your dumbbells back to the starting position. Your arm should be fully extended. You should be doing four sets of 15. We're gonna move on to push up. We're gonna be working on your chest, shoulder, and tricep. I want you to get down on the floor face down. I want you to place your hands slightly wider than your shoulders. Palms should be flat on the ground. I want you to extend your legs behind you with your toe touching the floor. Your body should be as straight as a line. Engage your core. Keep your head in line with your spine looking down at the floor. Maintain a straight back. Avoid arching or sagging. Inhale as you bend your elbows, lowering your chest towards the ground. Keep your elbows close to your body at a 45 degree angle for four sets of 18. We're gonna move to pull up. You're doing wide and narrow grip. The only thing that I want you to focus is at the top of your movement, hold for a moment and squeeze your back as well as your arm muscle. You are aiming for four sets of 12 as well with your narrow grip. However, this move is very challenging, but it helps you with upper body strength, particularly your back, shoulders, and arm. Thank you for watching. This is your 30 minute workout. I'll see you on my next video. Make sure to comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. I'll see you next time. Bye.